Hi, in this video, we will discuss the engineering application of Laplace transform in solving ODE. These are the engineering problems that we have, which is the damp vibration system, tank missing problem, circuit electrical network, where you can see that for the first case, you have the piecewise sinusoidal force function. So, for the second and third case, you have the system of ODE problem. So this problem is difficult to solve by using the mathematics technique that you have learned in Engineering Mathematics 1. In this course, you should master the Laplace transform technique in order to solve this problem. This is the first example where you can see this ODE can represent a damp vibration system here. Where you can see the force is, is acting on the system and the force is equal to RT where your RT is a piecewise function tan sin 2t from 0 to pi and then when t greater than pi is stopped which is equal to 0. This is the initial condition y0 equal to 1 and y prime 0 equal to negative 5. First of all we can convert the piecewise function into one equation by using the unit state function. As you know ut minus a is equal to a unit state function like this at t equal to a here is changed from 0 to magnitude equal to 1. So therefore, tan sin 2t between 0 to pi, it can, work, can be written as tan sin 2t multiply with your unit step ut minus 0 minus with ut minus with pi. So with that, you obtain this equation. Then we can take the Laplace transform on both sides. Laplace transform for the y double prime, you should be able to obtain x square minus x minus 1 and then y x multiplied with y0 multiplied with y prime 0. So your y0 is 1, you substitute, you obtain negative x. Your y prime 0 is negative 5, you substitute, you obtain d. So you can continue to take the Laplace transform for 2y prime. So this is the result where you have 2 capital Y. So this is the simplification for the yx. And then minus with your y0 which is equal to 1. Take the Laplace transform for 2y, you obtain 2 capital Y. So capital Y here indicate the Y X. And then you take the Laplace transform on the right hand side where you can see you have unit step function indicating the time shift property. This is the formula for the time shift property. Where you can see when you compare the UT with the UT minus A here, so your A is equal to zero. So therefore, you substitute A inside, you obtain the function must be in Ft. So when you check it, this is in Ft function. So we can apply the formula here to obtain exponential negative, your A is 0, and Fx. So why is your Fx? You need to take the Laplace transform for 10 sin 2t. Then you should obtain 10 multiplied with Laplace transform sin 2t which give you x square plus omega square and multiply with omega here so since your omega is 2 then we can substitute 2 inside to get this answer so this is the Laplace transform result for this term so exponential is equal to 1 therefore you can obtain 10 multiplied with 2 over x square plus 4 which is this term where this can be equal to 1 again you compare the ut minus a with, with this term you obtain that your a is equal to pi so you substitute a inside here you obtain ft minus pi so this function must be in ft minus pi but it's not because it's in t so you have to convert this, so you have 10 sin 2t 
So we have to convert this so that we obtain T minus 5. So let's change it to T minus 5 here. So we substitute T minus 5. And then we check. Then sine 2T minus 5. Minus 2 pi. So these two functions are the same. Where you can see for the ten sine 2T, you have this function. And for the 2T minus 2 pi here, so over here is your 2 pi. So this is pi. This is 2 pi. So if you shift the T okay, to here, to obtain this, then you found that it's also a sine wave. So therefore, ten sine 2 t is equal to this function. So this function is in the format of f t minus pi. Therefore, we can substitute this to here. We obtain this. Then we can continue to take the Laplace transform for this term. So the result is as formation negative a x, where your a, a is equal to pi. So when we substitute, you obtain negative pi x. To find the fx, you need the ft. So let the t equal to t minus 5, then you obtain 10 sine 2t. So take the Laplace transform for this, you obtain the fx, which is 10 over 2x squared plus 2 squared. So with that, you obtain this result. So we success to find the Laplace transform result. And you can see that for the red color, it highlights for the force function on your right side. And your blue color is due to the initial condition. So initial condition will cause the transient solution. And your forcing function here on the right side will cause the steady state solution. If your initial condition is equal to zero, then you should expect that your transient solution will be eliminated here, which is also equal to zero. After collect the term for the y x from here, and then move all the remaining term to the right hand side, you should be able to obtain this, and then rearrange it, you should obtain the result in this format. Next, we need to find the yt from the yx by using the inverse Laplace transform. So we will start with the first part. So let's take the inverse Laplace transform for the first part, which is this term. So you can see that from here, we need to find the root for the x in order to simplify this. After you check the calculator, your s is equal to negative 1 plus minus i, which is a complex number. So which means you cannot use the partial fraction to continue to simplify. So you have another option by using the completing the square. So from here, you have x plus 2, 2 divided by 2, you obtain 1 squared. Okay. So you have to minus the term here, which is 1 plus 2. So plus 2 minus 1, you obtain 1 here. So this is the result for the completing the square, which is written here. When we look at the denominator here, you obtain the x plus 1, which is the x shift. So therefore, we can use this x shift property. So when you compare, you have the x plus 1 here equal to x minus a. Therefore, your a is equal to negative 1. Initially, you have x minus 3 at the top. So for the x shift function, you need to have x plus 1. So let your x plus 1 inside here. So in order to have x back, you need to minus 1. So minus 3. So minus 1 minus 3 here can be simplified into minus 4. So with that you obtain x plus 1 minus 4 to be here. Then you can separate it into x plus 1 component and minus 4 over denominator component here. So to solve the first term, we can use this formula. 
where your s x plus 1 is equal to this to find your ft you need to find your fx so let x equal to x plus 1 you obtain x over x square plus 1 so inverse laplace for this you obtain the ft so for this function it will be cos t then substitute inside the ft you obtain cos t multiplied with exponential a t where your a is equal to negative 1 so this is your first answer for the second part here so if you look at this term this is in fx plus 1 as well so to find the fx you have 1 over so this one changes to 1 so this one x equal to x plus 1 you have x square plus 1 so if you look at this term it will be your sine function so you substitute this inside the formula you have sine t multiplied with exponential negative 1t which is this term and don't forget multiply with the constant in front which is negative 4 we continue for the part b which is taking the inverse laplace transform for this you should obtain this term so from here you see there are two factors here one is quadratic factor another, another term is linear factor so you can use the partial fraction to find the unknown ax plus b and cx plus d so you found your a b c d constant to be this then this term can be further simplified by using the completing the square previously where you found that initially your x square plus 2 x plus 2 can be simplified into x plus 1 square plus 1 so which is this term from the x plus 1 term here you know that you need to perform the x shift and from the f shift property you obtain this formula where you can see you have the x minus a equal to x plus 1 where your a will be equal to negative 1 so you need to form the f s so your a is negative 1 you substitute plus 1 for this part so you have 2x plus 6 at the top so we need the x to be x plus 1 so you have 2x minus 2x plus 2 so you need to minus 2 to cancel it to get back the 2x then plus 6 then you, you should be able to obtain this result which is equal to this term so you can continue with this take the inverse Laplace transform for this and you can see you have x plus 1 Therefore, your a is negative 1. When you substitute, you obtain the exponential negative t. So with that, you have exponential negative t here. So you have 2x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 squared plus 1. So this is your fx plus 1. So for your fx, it will be just equal to 2x over x squared plus 1, where you can eliminate the 1 here. So this is 2 cos t function and you have plus 4 over x squared plus 1 so this is 4 sine t function on your right hand side you have 2x over x squared plus 4 where you know that when you take the inverse Laplace transform for the x over x squared plus 4 it will be cos 2t so don't forget multiply with the negative 2 constant and then you have 2 over x squared plus 4 so since your omega squared is equal to 4 your omega equal to 2 so it will be sine 2t because you have a constant 2 at the top let's continue with this part so we are going to find the inverse Laplace transform for this you can see this part has similarity with the second part here with the additional exponential term so previously we obtained this we can simplify this to be this term so therefore we can remain the term similar to this one and multiply it with your exponential negative pi x here 
And previously, when you take the inverse Laplace transform for this term, you obtain this result. So, in this case, we have the additional term for the exponent. And you see your result having the unit step function compared to the previous result. This is due to the time shift property. When you multiply the exponent with your fx, like this case, then your ft will be shifted by a and multiplied with the unit step function. In this case, initially you have your fx to be this, and you take the inverse Laplace transform, you obtain the ft to be this answer. So you take the fx and multiply with the exponential negative pi x. So with that, by using this formula, you should obtain the result in this. So you should change this to ft minus a, which is your a is equal to pi. So we can substitute a equal to pi inside this formula. To obtain the ft minus pi, so we replace the t become t minus pi here. So this t will become t minus pi. So 2 cos t become 2 cos t minus pi. 4 sine t here, t becomes t minus pi. So t here becomes t minus pi. And lastly, sine 2t, we obtain sine 2t minus pi here. And multiply with your unit step function, t minus pi. So all of them multiply with ut minus pi. So with that, you obtain the result for this part is equal to this. And we take the summation for all the results for these three parts, then we can get the final answer here. You should learn how to plot this result. So you can see that this function is valid for all the t. So the function with the ut minus pi, when t is less than pi, will be equal to 0. When t is greater and equal to pi, then it will be equal to 1. For the unit step function. So with that, so for this function, we know that it exists for all the interval. Then you have this term here for all the t. And for the next two terms here, it's only valid for t greater than greater than equal to pi, which is this term. So you can cancel this four term and simplify it to be this answer. So once you plot it, you should be able to obtain this graph. In this example, you have two tanks and you can see there is a missing between them. And also there is inflow and outflow from the tank. So the inflow is 6 gallon per minute indicates 1 gallon is equal to 3.8 liter. So in SI unit, you should aware that this is 6 multiplied 3.8 liter per minute. The salt content inside the tank 1 and tank 2 is given by Y1 and Y2 respectively. From the initial condition at time equal to 0, your salt at tank 1 is equal to 0 and at 10 to is equal to 150. Due to the mixing process between the 10 1 and 10 2, you have the dy1 over dt, which means the salt at 10 1 will change over the time, as well as dy2 over dt. So we can write 2 ODE based on this, which is given by this equation. And we are going to solve this. So first step, we need to apply Laplace transform on both sides for the left hand side and right hand side for both ODEs. So for the first ODE, you obtain this. So you can see Y prime, you obtain X Y prime because you have X one minus with your Y zero. Substitute Y zero to be zero you obtain this y prime two laplace transform of it you obtain as y two 
minus with y two zero. So previous one is y one. So y two zero is given by hundred fifty. So you replace by hundred fifty, then you get this result. So on your right hand side, Laplace transform for y one give you capital y one x. So eight divided by hundred, you obtain zero point zero eight. And then you continue with this Laplace transform for y two, you obtain y two x. Two over hundred, you obtain this. And lastly, you have six constant. After you Laplace transform, you get six over x. So for this term, Laplace transform for this, you obtain y one x. So eight over hundred is this. Minus with eight over hundred is zero point zero eight, and then you have y two x here. This is the Laplace transform result that we obtained so far. So we need to find the y one x and y two x. It can be found through the matrix method. So first of all, arrange it according to the y one x and y two x. So for the first equation, y one x is here. You move to the left hand side. You obtain x plus zero point zero eight. And then you have y two here. You move to left hand side. You obtain negative zero point zero two. And on your right hand side, you have six over x. And then for the second equation, for your y one, you have zero point zero eight. Let's say you move to left hand side. You obtain zero point zero eight with negative. So this is. Your y two to move this to the left hand side, you obtain x plus zero point zero eight. So negative hundred fifty move to the right hand side, you obtain hundred fifty. And then you can arrange in this format y one, y two. On your right hand side, you have six over x, and this one is hundred fifty. On your left hand side, you have this two term x plus zero point zero eight, and this one is negative zero point zero two. So for the second equation. You have negative zero point zero eight, and this one is x plus zero point zero eight. This equation is the same with this equation, just that instead of move y one y two to the left hand side to obtain this, you move to the right hand side. So if you apply negative of both sides, you get this answer to be the same. If you multiply negative on the bottom equation, you obtain this result. So we can proceed from here. So find the y one. We can use the Cramer rule. So we take the determinant for this matrix. It will be our denominator here, and then you replace this over here, and this term. Remain here. So take the determinant for this. You should be able to obtain this result. And then you have three linear factor. Therefore, you can perform the partial fraction. So you have three partial fraction, and the unknown has been found. And later, you need to perform the inverse Laplace transform. To obtain the y one, so hundred over x. So you know one over x. If you perform inverse Laplace transform, you obtain one. Therefore, you have hundred here. So one over x plus a. If you take inverse Laplace transform, give you exponential negative eighty. 
therefore a in this case is equal to 0 0.12 if you substitute inside this formula you obtain exponential negative, negative 0.12 t and this a is equal to 0 0.04 once you substitute you obtain exponential negative 0 0.04 and don't forget the constant in front so this is the answer for your y1 you can continue to use the Kramer rule to find the y2 so take the determinant you obtain the denominator here and then for this portion for y2 you need to replace over here and remain this term at here so after solving the determinant you obtain this polynomial where you can see there are three linear factors here you can use the partial fraction to obtain this result then we can take the inverse Laplace transform to obtain the y1 t so 100 over x you should be able to obtain 100 so for the second term your a is equal to 0 0.12 so you should obtain the result in exponential negative a t so substitute a inside you obtain this term and your constant is 1 2 5 so last one is negative 75 so your a is equal to 0 0.04 substitute inside this formula you obtain this answer so you can plot the answer for y1 and y2 so you should know the short content in t1 is equal to your y1 t2 is equal to y2 so you can see during the mixing process okay your concentration for the short change over the time and then after some time it becomes steady state so at this moment it means that the salt content in tank 1 and tank 2 they are the same so approximately around 120 seconds later it becomes stable in this example you see there are two circuits connect to each other so this is called two circuit electrical network you can form two ODE one from the lower circuit here another one from the upper circuit here so you see the right hand side function here one is zero one is not equal to zero this is the forcing function for the circuit which is the voltage so for the lower circuit since you have voltage so it's not equal to zero so this term is your voltage at the upper circuit since you cannot find any voltage therefore the voltage is zero in this case if you plot the voltage you will be able to obtain this graph so in this case we assume that when t greater than zero only you start implement the voltage so before t equal to zero your voltage is zero here and then you apply 100 here so therefore you have constant 100 so for the second term you have negative 100 unit step function so you need to minus with 100 unit step function at t equal to 0 0.5 so at t equal to 0 0.5 it changes from 0 to 100 so when you take the first graph and minus with the second graph so you will find that 100 minus 0 here you obtain 100 and then 100 here minus with 100 it becomes zero therefore this is the actual graph of the voltage that you apply here the initial condition is given at t equal to zero your i and i prime is zero we can solve the system of ODE by applying the Laplace transform on both sides so for the first equation so 0 0.8 i prime one so if you take the Laplace transform it becomes as capital I1 as minus with small i 1 0 since your i is 0 for both circuits therefore your i1 0 is, is 0 so you obtain x i1 which is this term and don't forget your 0 0.8 for the second term here you have i1 minus i2 so this is the Laplace transform result become capital I so this one small i will obtain the capital i here 100 laplace transform you obtain 1 over x for the constant 1 
unit set function, we can take the Laplace transform by using the time shift property formula here, where you can check over here your a is equal to 0 0.5. So we can substitute inside the fp function your plan t minus 0 0.5. which is equal to negative 1 beside the unit set function here so we can write it equal to negative 1 so you have to find your fp so let p equal to t minus 0 0.5 on the right side you don't have any p so your answer remains so take the Laplace transform for the fp equal to negative 1 here you obtain your sx to be negative 1 over x so substitute inside this formula and your a is equal to 0 0.5 you substitute inside you should be able to obtain this answer where your exponential negative 0 0.5 x divided by x with the negative a so this is your answer for the first equation let's take the Laplace transform for the second equation on both sides so Laplace transform for the 0 you still get 0 Laplace transform for i2 prime, you obtain x i2 x minus with i2 0. So this can be cancelled due to the initial condition, and you only have x i2 here. So for this term, you can easily get the capital i2 minus i2 i1 here. So this is the Laplace domain result. Now you have unknown I1, I2 to be solved and we can use the matrix method to solve it. So you need to arrange it into the matrix format like this. So first of all, we collect the term for I1. So we, you can have 0.8x. So 1 plus 1.4 here, you obtain 2.4 for your I1 term. And then you collect the term for I2 which is this so you have negative 1 in front so this is the term and the remaining term put in the right hand side so for the second equation collect the term for i1 first you have negative 1 so this is the answer and for i2 is these two terms which is s plus 1 so with that you obtain this and on your right hand side is 0 so you success to obtain the matrix format by using the Kramer rule, you can easily get the I1 and I2x where take the determinant to be the denominator for both case and then on the right hand side, for I1 you replace in the left hand side here for I2 you replace it at the right hand side here so with that you can continue to solve it after you find the determinant for the I1 then you should be able to obtain this result in the partial fraction format and when you take the inverse Laplace transform you can obtain the I1 t so for the first part here you multiply with 1 for the second part you multiply with exponential so for the first part let's say you have 1 over x so when you take the inverse Laplace transform you obtain 1 for the second term here 1 over x plus 0 0.5 you obtain exponential negative 0 0.5t last one is okay 1 over x plus 3.5 inverse Laplace transform for this you obtain exponential negative 3.5t and include all the constraints in front of it then you success to get this result so this is your fx result, you can easily get your fp result here. Then if you multiply it with exponent, you obtain this. You multiply the fx with exponent. Based on the time shift property, so if you take the inverse Laplace transform, then you can obtain the time domain data to be like this and if you compare this one okay you get your a to be equal to 0 
So you just substitute this side to be Ft minus 0 0.5. So you success to obtain Ft previously. So for this, you need to substitute T minus 0 0.5. So for the first term, you don't have any T, therefore you will be remain for the Ft minus 0 0.5. For the second term here, you can substitute t here to be t minus 0 0.5. Third term here, substitute t here to be t minus 0 0.5. So with that, you success to obtain the ft minus 0 0.5. Then you need to multiply with the unit step function ut minus a, where your a is equal to 0 0.5. So you can see each of them multiply with ut minus 0 0.5. To three of them. So this is the result for your second part here. So in simple, this is the fx. If you take the inverse Laplace transform, you obtain the ft. So you see this term is exactly the same with this, with additional exponential. So we can say it's a exponential negative 0.5x multiplied with the capital fx. So when you take the inverse Laplace transform of this, by using the time shift property, you should be able to obtain Ft minus 0.5 multiplied with unit step function here. So Ft, you already obtained here. So you just change all the Ft become Ft minus 0.5 with additional multiplied with unit step function here. If you want to plot the graph for it, then you should convert it to the piecewise function here. So for this term, it, the t is valid for all the t, right? And for this term, the t is only valid for t greater than 0 0.5. When t less than 0 0.5, then this term will be equal to 0. So therefore, this term from here is exists for all the t, but for the second part here, it only exists at t and greater and equal to 0 0.5. So with that, you can simplify it to be this answer. So this is the answer for the I2. It will be almost the same with the I1. So after you solve the determinant, you are able to obtain this. And same, this is your fx. You perform the inverse Laplace transform to obtain the fp here. And then you have additional term with exponential. So Exponential negative 0.5x multiply with your fx. If you take the inverse Laplace transform, then by using the time shift property, you can obtain the t minus, okay, your a is 0.5 multiply with your unit step, a is 0.5. So therefore, you can see you multiply u with the t minus 0.5 here and your time is shift from t to t minus 0.5 so you can see for the first term you don't have any t so it remains so you have t here it becomes t minus 0.5 here so this one also the same so with that you can easily get the answer for i2 so if you want to plot the graph for the i2 you need to form the piecewise function And for this term, your t is valid for all the t. And for this term, your t is only valid for t greater and equal to 0 0.5. Because you need that for t less than 0 0.5, it will be 0. So therefore, you can see this term exists at these two intervals. But this term is only exists when t greater and equal to 0 0.5. So with that, by using this equation, you can plot the graph to be this.